and welcome to the Minnesota Tigers 2005, the PJ Tour season. It's time for the second episode of the core Tour Difficulty. I have to think about that then. I have to think about that. Alright, let's get on with it. We're winning by 10 shots. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Ferdy is ready to call the action today. So let's send it down to the first tee. Welcome to round two of this PGA Tour event at Coeur d'Alene Resort. So last time went all right, to be fair. A couple of bad putts, but that's where my weakness is, is going to be with, with total difficulty. So that's something we'll try and pick up as uh, we play Coeur d'Alene at least. Alright, 358 yard drive to start the day. It's going to put us in, in well within range. I'm going to hit it to the left side. It's going to fly left, but then go right. I've got that bang on. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. Well, we're getting the eagle here. No doubt about it. I don't even have to put to tap an eagle. You can't moan at that. And we're still in first place. Total difficulty. Not stopping this dominance, I'm telling you. I know what I'm doing. For the most part. For the most part, anyway. This par four hole requires length and accuracy from. Right, the wind is forward. We can get there. We can get there. This is an impressive. If we're lucky, we need a good roll. We just got there, but that's going to be one tough well, putt. That was. It was a right one. What a shot! I could target vision this, but I think for Code the Lane, I'm going to try not to use target vision and learn this, like, you know, learn how to do it properly, to be honest. It's the power I've got trouble with. I know it's got sight a little to the left, but I don't know how much power I need. Ah, oh, I don't know to the right. I've got the power right. 24 under for the champion. I'd be curious to see the putting average that I got at the end of you know season one at the end of this season because that's how, that's how, that that that'll be the biggest stat to change I think. This beautiful par three. All right, the hole is to the right side this time. We play a high at six iron. Watch out! This, this looks pretty fire. good. It's really good. Oh, yes! Finally got the hole in one. Finally, after so long. It like missed the hole and the game was like, I feel sorry for you now. You, you, you can have it. I, I, I don't know how that works. I don't know what the physics are behind that one. <laughs> it's clearly away from the hole. I missed it. It's just like, no, nah, you know what? You can have that one. I, you can have that one. I'll take it. I'm taking it. So hole in one, finally. Seven more I need. I need seven more for the trophy pools. Speaking of which, you didn't give me him last time. Weird enough. Weirdly enough, right. Okay, the hole's a bit more towards the middle, which I'll take. Nothing wrong with this, this one's a lot easier. There we go, seven feet to the pin. We should get this one this time. We should get it. Come on. Back to back eagles on tour difficulty. Can we do it? Of course we can. Well, buddy, Livingston, mate. Never in doubt. Realistically, that actually could have been four eagles in a row. That would have been mad. The totally redesigned fifth hole. Right, it's downhill, but not by much. I think a log bridge is about right for this, with that wind as well. I see it, and it appears to be right on target. Yeah, that'll do. The wind really, really got a hold of it, but we're on the green. For five in a row. Bit of power to the right side. Eight in the hole. Today. Well, I'm happy to get a hole in one, even though I feel like that one's a bit, a bit of a gift, <laughs> to be honest. But I'm taking it. The sixth hole offers a spectacular okay, the hole's at the back of the green, and that one's the worst one, to be honest. It's easy to overhit this. I'll play a 7 iron. 
Jones right on target here. Oh, yeah, just I can still pop that, but still. Some notes, but that ball's in the rough. Think we need a bit of power on that to the left side. Oh, too much power. This puts for par. We'll be seeing a lot of that in this season, I think. Uh, it's the first major step up of the day. Seven nine went a bit too far. I couldn't quite nail the putt. What? I support that. If it was normal, I would have made that. Once again, I've overcompensated for the break. That seems to, that seems to be what I do more than often than not. At least so far, with my limited experience with Tiger, uh, totally difficulty. When you see a tee shot like this, you just have to stand We can whack this one right by the green. Well, not quite, but we're, we're in pitching range. If I'm not mistaken, that's a 56 degree... Go on! That's in the hole, surely it's not. It goes over the hole, literally. Oh, that's... Oh, hang on. That's really hard to do. Stop your swing there we go. mid action. It might have gone in anyway, but I wasn't risking that. I wanted it minimally to the left there. Yeah, that par's a bit of a sucker. A bit of a sucker punch, but we'll live with it. Another medium length par four. We've got to hold it one, we can't complain today to be honest. Alright. Whack it down the fairway. Whoa! This one might never come down. Go down the hill. 380 yard drive, a little shorter than last time. I think it was 387 last time. Right, pitching range, pitch, play it a little short. He'll be happy with this. Oh, right by the hole. Very nicely done. Maybe a little too hard, but we need a power control there. We got it. To be fair, five feet to the hole. That's straight in. Ten under par for the. Nice and easy so far. Right, par five up next. Number nine, the longest of the par. It's the long but straight one, so it should be all right here. We have the power. Walk it down the fairway. Ah, still they blasted it. Third chance for the seven-yard drive. Right, but two hundred and ten yards the pin from here. I'm gonna play a three iron just to be safe here. This might go a bit long. I like the looks of this. Then again, now I play well short, apparently. Oh, can you believe it? Still, pretty flat green, we should make this to be honest. For an eagle in this part. Yeah, that's like, what, right edge, a bit of power. There we go, yeah. Under par is that what I read correctly? Halfway through it, we're doing alright here, we've got the whole open one, we'll take it. Just as on hole nine, the tenth places a premium on it. Uh, tenth hole, we can't quite clear the bunker, so we have to, we have to play it down the fairway. Bit of power boost. He's gonna like this t -shirt. This way, you don't really want to over hit. Although, with the, with the pin on the right side, it really doesn't matter, actually. If the pin's the left side, you want to play it to the right, to, to, get, to get, keep the trees out of the way. Uh, but this one, I'm gonna play a soft sandwich. Well, I think this one will be on the dance floor. These wedges like to, like to play short. The wedges do like to play short, especially this especially the same wedge and the long wedge. That's kind of right edge. Ah, uh, screw you again. Screw you. Thirty-three under. Well, that's an un unnecessary power there. Jesus, just stops dead in front of the bloody hole. Oh well. I hate I hate that as well. I hate that. But it stops dead short of the hole. So I'm now triggered. I completely miss hit that. But I caught myself halfway through so I tried to play the fade on this row. It's worked out. Ooh, this one looks good. 
That's a bit long, but with a bit of back right spin. There we go. Now that's close. Really close. We'll take it. Can I left edge a bit of power just to be sure this time? It's an eagle. It is an eagle. What's next then? What's next? All right, simple enough. The par three twelve. Right, par three twelve. Okay. Sometimes it's like magic the way you put spin on the ball. Come on, show us a little trick. The hole's not in the best location here, to be honest with you. He knows this it's better than it being at the back because it takes the water. You can take the water out. Oh my god! Go on. Oh. Wonderful shot. Oh, that was I was thinking about it. A bit more spin, that other chance. Finds the cup for a birdie there. We get the tapping birdie. I feel like making sure we get tappings at least might be a bit more critical this time. Because if I play it aggressive and play it too long so it goes down the slope or something, I can't put to save myself. The well, like, I can, ball, but it'll be harder, so. I've seen you bomb it under the green before. This one's reachable too. Uh, uh, I'm going to play a three wood. Bit of power boost. He'll be pleased with this. Oh, I should play bloody driver. Can I chip that? Yeah, we'll pitch it, we'll pitch it, we'll pitch it. Just give me a pitch. Go on, ah, oh, right idea. This is for birds. I thought with a win, the three would, would actually get there, but it didn't. 37. Can't blame my putt in there, it was just a poor tee off. It, wasn't, it was a good tee off, but I should play driver. Oh well, we're gonna win. It's fine. The fourteenth features the world's. Uh, nine iron, yeah, nine iron, right side. What a beautiful looking shot! Into the wind. Oh man! Ah, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. I was I thought it bugged out. It was the bloody flowers. That was the bloody flowers. I thought it glitched out on me. Then it's the freaking stupid flowers. Screw nature. They're getting wherever you go, ball, and then they make you freak out like that. Stupid. Right, par five, shot par five. Oh yeah, this, this, this is an easy. This is the easy par five. Walk it straight down the fairway. This is what I'd call a successful lift off. Got enough power once again to take the tree on the right side out of play. We've got a clear shot at the hole. Well, David, I'd say it's about 130 yards to the hole from here. I'll go with that part. Pitching wedge with the wind against it. We'll play it. I'm no fortune teller, but this one should be close. Bit of backspin towards the hole. That's a good shot. That's a good result. Left edge into the hole. Under for the chance. Nice and easy. There we go. Could have had three all in once today. Those two, those two were, 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 were close. The sixteenth hole is relative. Theoretically, there is chance for one more on that short par four, but it's obviously very unlikely. But you never know. That's straight, and it's far. Oh, I bit that left. Great, great shot. I nearly hit the tree there, but I didn't. Run the fairway. And a left edge. Looks to be right on the money there. Nice shot. Oh, right by the hole. This should be a tap in. Yeah, it's a tap in. Well, I said I said this a few times though, that could be key, just getting it close so we can get get the tap ins this time. I think even like medium putts, which I would normally make with the carrier tip, I might not make this time. Is a short Wins in favour of it, okay. Wins in favour, we, we can get there with that, I think. We'll go straight for the hole. Bit of power boost. This is looking very good. Oh, ho, ho, it kicked to the right there. Doesn't get much better than that. It was far too hard of a shot to get that in the hole, but it thought about it. Think? It made you think about it for a second, anyway. Eagle chance, bit of power out of it. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, I've done it again. Oh, that was perfect. 
felt it dead in front of the bloody hole. Uh, I knew I had to do a bit of right because with it being uh, you know less power, the brake would matter more. But I took too much power out of it. <sighs> the final hole at Coeur d'Alene. That hurts. Going all right. Once we play a few hole, you know, like a few championships, I will start using Tiger Visions again. But I don't want to. I want to try and learn the, the brake line for now. Oh, this is a superior looking tee shot. Might be I only use Tiger Visions when I might actually lose. How does it look to you, David? About a hundred yards to the flag. Somewhere short, soft. This approach looks good. Oh, right by the hole. I know <laughs> Tiger Vision needed here. That's a tough bit. Bit of a power boost. There we go. We made the cut. We're still smashing it. We're up by twenty shots. It will get harder as we get harder courses, but call the lane. Very straightforward, we'll take it. The AI scores don't change based on the difficulty of the course, whereas obviously mine will. So the Dream Mate team will be hard, as, as I said before. About the fantasy, fantasy courses, it can also be quite hard. So and, and, and at the end of that round, here's my stats. But now it's not too bad, to be fair. Of course, next time will be round three of the Coeur d'Alene Championship. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. So let's play Tiger's Pitch until 2005, the PGA Tour season.